Angel and welcome back to my channel and today we are making this Starbucks unicorn frappuccino inspired slime. I know basically like all the things that have been on the internet in the past month combined into one little cute DIY. I've also got a mermaid slash dragon inspired frappuccino slime friend but the thing is I feel like those two things look exactly the same. When I heard that there was a mermaid frappuccino I thought it was gonna be like teal and blue and some kind of like blueberry drink but it turns out it's like green and purple which is interesting I guess it's like the kelp and the I don't know what's purple in the ocean, like the coral? I guess they have their creative license with that. In any case though, these slimes are super cute. And before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and then also leave me a comment down below because I'm really curious if you guys have tried either the unicorn frappuccino or the mermaid or the dragon one because I have to admit, I haven't tried any of them. I have looked at a lot of pictures of them because they're like everything that's in my Facebook feed right now, but I haven't gotten a chance to try it. So if you guys have tried it, then I am so curious to hear what it tastes like and I would love to hear your opinion on it and then also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos and I think that's about it without further ado let's get started to start off you'll need a half cup of white glue and just throw that on into a bowl then we're gonna add in a half teaspoon of baking soda and just mix that in this is your standard slime recipe super easy I think it's only like three or four ingredients then just squeeze in some acrylic paint and I'm starting off with the unicorn frappuccino here, so I'm just adding in the magenta paint, and I'm gonna mix that on through. The unicorn frappuccino is kind of like a purpley pink, so I just added in a little bit more purple paint there to get that perfect color. Then I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of contact lens solution, and just mix that through. This is kind of gonna be our magic ingredient, and it's what really turns it into that slime consistency. So you know, once you get these lovely sounds, you're on the way to some really great slime. And to get the stretchiest slime possible, I found that you don't wanna add in too much contact lens solution. Once you add in too much, it gets much less elastic and stretchy, and it tends to break more easily when you pull it. So just try to stick to one tablespoon and don't add too much more. Then once your purpley pink slime is ready to go, you'll want to repeat with some blue slime as well. Let me know if you guys like this kind of like ASMR style video too, because I'm very curious if it's worth it for me to record without listening to some kind of like music or TV, because otherwise, like, I'm playing The Office full blast next time. But anyways though, now I'm just going to start layering this into my little plastic cup. You can see I've kind of pressed that first one up the side, just so it looks more realistic. And I'm going to layer in the blue slime, again pressing it right up to those sides. The goal is to not have any gap between your different layers. If you can see some air bubbles or gap between your slimes, it's not going to look as realistic. So I'm just going to keep going, layer in my frappuccino, right up until I reach the top. Then you can just pop on the plastic lid and misspell your name on the side and you've pretty much got a Starbucks drink. Before we add any more decorations though, I do want to go back to the mermaid slash dragon frappuccino. You can see I've just added in a half teaspoon of matcha powder. That's the only difference to this slime. I just think it's a nice touch since the real drink does have matcha in it. And again, the rest is totally the same. You're gonna add in the contact lens solution and mix it through. Now I know what you might be thinking, Rachel, the color is not looking so hot there, but I promise this is pretty true to the original drink. It's kind of that split pea, dull chartreuse kind of color, but it'll look pretty once it's all layered up. And of course you're going to need the magenta one as well. This one is a little bit more purple than the unicorn drink one. And again, we're just going to layer this up into our plastic cup. And then pop on the lid. And you're good to go. So now we're just going to add on the Starbucks logo. I actually have these Starbucks logo stickers and I'm just going to pop them right on the front. I was able to make these myself because as you guys know I have an Etsy sticker planner shop, link below. But if you don't have this, then I'll have a link to these logos on my website and you can just print them out and glue them on with a glue stick or some tape. And now for the final touch, we're going to add a little bit of foam on top. And this is going to be in the form of men's shaving cream, which yes, I did feel really weird buying. But this works super well. It actually turns the slime into fluffy slime once you mix it all through, which is just a really cool added bonus. For our mermaid dragon frappuccino, I'm going to dust over a little bit of matcha. And then for the unicorn frappuccino, sprinkle over some glitter. 
Then just pop on the lids, throw in some straws, and you've basically got yourself some Starbucks viral frappuccinos. These are so cool, so fun to play with, and they look just like the real drink, which I think is awesome. And like I said, that shaving cream is gonna mix right on into the slime and actually give it a fluffier texture, which is really cool. So I really hope you guys give this a try, and if you do, make sure you tag me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever kind of social media you like, and just tack on the hashtag World, and I would love to see it and like it and comment on it and uh, just see what you guys are up to. All right guys, our various viral slimes are finished now and I think that these look so cool. They look just like the real thing, I think. You could honestly give this to somebody, I feel like, and they would think it's the real unicorn frappuccino and then they would try to drink it and then you'd um, probably lose some friends that day. But pranks aside though, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And you can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats and then check out my Etsy sticker shop right over there. I sell different kawaii organizational stickers that you can throw in your agenda just to help you stay organized and motivated. And finally, the full recipe for the slime will be on kawaiisweetworld.com so you can head on over and check that out. And I think that's about it. I'll see you guys all back here very soon. Bye guys!